Okay, let's go back to the phones now to Ed in St. Louis, Missouri. Ed, thank you very much for joining the Diane Reem Show. I know you have another comment to add about Oklahoma. Yeah, good morning. Uh, good it's, morning. Uh, the, the, the issue related to basements, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, the clay content of the soil in that part of the country heaves, uh, causes the soil to heave. You can, you can put in a basement, but keep in mind that as the soil heaves and moves, it's going to break that basement up. A builder is going to be reluctant to put one in because he's got a warranty to stand behind, and he's going to have a big enough problem just trying to get a slab to, to stay in place mm -hmm. without cracking. So uh, if, you could, if you can talk a builder into putting in a basement, that's fine, but what you're going to end up with is a basement that's cracked, that's broken, that's shifted, and you probably won't have a warranty. Ed, is this a money issue? If you paid the builder more, would you get the basement you wanted with the warranty? No, I mean, it's just physically impossible to do it, Caddy. You're talking about uh, the, the soil is going to shift. The mm -hmm. soil is going to, um, if, for example, these safe rooms that they're talking about putting in underground, those are not poured. Those are usually, those are typically uh, solid one-piece units where you dig a hole, you drop this thing in, mm -hmm. and it's not going to crack uh, the way that concrete will. If it's rigid, it's going to break. Ed, that's very interesting. Cheryl wants to jump well, I was just in. I say, I wondered about having like kind of neighborhood safe rooms or sort of exactly what he's talking about. Or so if people can't have basements in their own house, can there be kind of storm cellars or, or shelters that are tiny, almost crawl space like things that people can just go into quickly? Well, sure. I mean, you could. If you, I mean, theoretically, sure. But you keep in mind, if you build a big, rigid concrete structure, that's going to break. You're going to need something that's going to flex and move as the soil heats. Yeah, and that's actually, Ed, that, that kind of big structure, of course, is what you would need if you're talking about a school population.